China's new plasma electric motor just surprised the whole world. China is on fire again. They're advancing electric mobility and aviation with the CJ1000AX turbofan engine and a groundbreaking microwave thruster prototype, aiming to revolutionize air travel and reduce environmental impact. Traditional fuels like xenon are being replaced with a plasma electric motor to address aviation's significant contribution to global CO2 emissions and air pollution. But what is this technology exactly? How is it supposed to work and benefit us? This video will clear up all your queries and confusion about it in detail. Just stay tuned. Enter the one-of-a-kind innovation from the labs of Wuhan University in China, a prototype plasma jet device designed to operate right here in our planet's atmosphere. It uses air and microwaves to conjure up plasma, a mesmerizing state of matter, and with its newfound power, it can effortlessly lift a hefty one kilogram steel ball, matching the thrust generated by a commercial jet engine. Even more astounding, this technology can potentially be scaled up to power larger aircraft with an array of plasma thrusters. It is possible to construct a high-performance microwave air plasma jet thruster in the future to avoid carbon emissions and global warming that arise due to fossil fuel combustion, the researchers said in the paper. However, let's not get too carried away just yet. There are still some formidable hurdles on the runway to plasma-powered aviation. Questions loom like how to generate the required electricity, ensuring the safety and reliability of these engines, and seamlessly integrating them with existing aircraft designs. So let's break down the basics first. What exactly is a plasma propulsion engine? And how does it differ from the more familiar ion thrusters? Well, plasma-based thrusters are typically associated with spacecraft propulsion, and they work their magic in a unique way. Unlike ion thrusters, which rely on pulling ions from a plasma source and then accelerating them using specialized grids or anodes, plasma engines take a different route. They harness the power of the electric arc formed between two electrodes to give these ions a boost. This approach may result in slightly lower exhaust speeds due to voltage limitations, but here's the kicker. When you're in the vacuum of space, speed isn't everything. Steady acceleration over the course of months or even years can ultimately achieve remarkable velocities. Now, what's really nifty about these engines is that they sidestep some of the challenges faced by their ion-propelling cousins. No high-voltage grids or anodes means less wear and tear from ion erosion. Plus, the plasma exhaust is quasi-neutral, meaning there are roughly equal numbers of positive ions and electrons. This harmonious balance allows for simple recombination, effectively extinguishing the exhaust plume. No need for an electron gun here. Typically, these engines create plasma using a variety of methods, including the ingenious use of radio frequency or microwave energy via an external antenna. Imagine an engine so revolutionary that it could change the way we think about air travel. Last year, a team of brilliant Chinese engineers dropped a bombshell in the world of aviation with their remarkable microwave thruster prototype. As the Daily Mail reported, plasma propulsion is common on modern spacecraft, but engineers Engineers have long struggled to adapt the technology to work in Earth's atmosphere. Our results demonstrated that such a jet engine based on microwave air plasma can be a potentially viable alternative to the conventional fossil fuel jet engine said Professor Zhao Tong at Wuhan University in China. Now, here's the kicker. Traditional plasma engines have been notoriously impractical within Earth's atmosphere. The reason? Well, those engines typically rely on noble gases like xenon and tend to lose their thrust due to the pesky air friction. Plus, they're also known for producing weak thrust and suitable for space escapades but entirely inadequate for our gravity-bound needs. The geniuses at Wuhan University's Institute of Technical Sciences have flipped the table. Instead of dabbling in the xenon realm, they've harnessed the power of air and electricity. Their groundbreaking design has demonstrated the ability to generate some serious oomph, potentially paving the way for the next era of advanced aircraft. Now, their innovative plasma engine behaved somewhat like a fiery combustion engine. It all starts with ionized air, a futuristic twist on an everyday substance. This ionized air is channeled into a tube, 
thanks to an air compressor. As it journeys through this tube, it encounters microwaves, which in a cosmic dance of sorts, jolts the ions into frenzied collisions with non-ionized atoms. This epic collision course heats up the plasma, amps up the pressure, and voila, you've got yourself some mind-boggling thrust. But here's the secret sauce. A flattened waveguide, a rectangular metal tube, plays a pivotal role. The specially designed 1 kilowatt 2.45 gigahertz magnetron fires up microwaves, guiding them through this tube. As the waves get closer to the plasma, the tube narrows and then widens again, intensifying the electric field and ramping up the heat and pressure applied to the plasma. But that's not all. There's a quartz tube nestled within a hole at the waveguide's narrowest point. Air flows through this tube, journeying through a small section of the waveguide before emerging from the other end of the quartz tube. It's a blend of elements, making this whole process possible. But how potent is this engine, you might ask? Well, the researchers stumbled upon an intriguing revelation. When they tweaked the airflow in the compressor, the flame jet inside the tube grew longer as they cranked up the microwave power. It was like a tantalizing teaser of the engine's potential. But there was a catch. The plasma jet was scorching hot, reaching temperatures of over a thousand degrees. So hot, in fact, that it could obliterate a standard barometer used for thrust measurements. But these intrepid minds weren't to be deterred. They concocted a brilliant solution, a way to balance a hollow steel ball atop the tube, filled with smaller steel beads that could be adjusted for weight. When the engine's thrust hit a certain threshold, it would counteract gravity's pull on the ball, suspending it at a precise height above the tube. It was a stroke of genius that allowed them to indirectly gauge the astonishing power generated by this awe-inspiring engine. A suspended steel ball takes center stage defying gravity. Through the ingenious approach of measuring the ball's position relative to a tube and subtracting the compressor's thrust, they cracked the code. The result, a jaw-dropping revelation, a direct correlation between propulsive force, microwave power, and airflow. But that's not all. This technology is more than just innovative, it's remarkably efficient. With a mere 400 watts of electrical input and an airflow rate of 1.45 cubic meters per hour, it conjures 2.45 pounds of thrust, equivalent to 11 newtons. To put it in perspective, that's a staggering conversion rate of 6.29 pounds per kilowatt, or 28 newtons. In rigorous tests, this groundbreaking technology produced a mind-boggling 500 newtons of thrust in just half an hour, potentially revolutionizing modern aircraft. But the excitement doesn't end there. Tweaking the airflow in the compressor can extend the flame jet length when microwave power is cranked up. To measure that thrust accurately, they even designed a hollow steel ball with adjustable weights. Innovation at its finest. However, like all good stories, this one has its share of caveats. Brace yourself for a literal scorching 1000 degree exhaust temperature, lower airflow rates than full-sized engines, and demanding power requirements. These factors may limit its application to larger aircraft. But here's where the plot thickens. Plasma engines, like the one in question, offer a cleaner and more efficient path to aircraft propulsion compared to traditional fossil fuel combustion. A a reduction of up to 60% in carbon emissions, a boost in fuel efficiency, and a significant contribution to mitigating climate change. According to Professor Tang, there's no need for fossil fuel with our design, and therefore there's no carbon emission to cause greenhouse effects and global warming. Now imagine the possibilities when this technology scales up. If the linear relationship holds, it's theoretically possible to harness the power of Tesla Model S batteries, boasting 310 kilowatts to generate a staggering 1,911 pounds or 8.5 kilonewtons of propulsive thrust force. In contrast, the now defunct Airbus E-Fan, a two-seater electric aircraft, relied on a pair of 30 kilowatt electric ducted fans, producing a meager 1.5 kilonewtons of static engine thrust. The researchers behind this prototype are rewriting the efficiency rulebook with a thrust to power ratio of approximately 5.62 pounds per kilowatt, or 25 newtons. Yet while this plasma-based thruster technology sparks excitement, it faces challenges in the burgeoning electric vehicle takeoff and landing, aka eVTOL aircraft industry. Scalability, development costs, and safety concerns loom large on the horizon. NASA and the European Space Agency are researching plasma engines for aviation. Comprehensive research and significant investment are needed for widespread adoption. 
Plasma engines can run on various substances, from argon to carbon dioxide, but they're still in the early stages of development for air travel. Prototypes have been used in space missions like NASA's Dawn and the European Space Agency's Bepi Colombo. However, plasma engines have limitations. For example, the Vasimir VX200 engine requires 200 kilowatts of power to produce just 1.12 pounds of thrust, which is inefficient for space missions. Chemical engines remain superior for launching spacecraft into orbit. Nonetheless, NASA and the Ad Astra rocket company are pursuing plasma propulsion systems for interplanetary travel. But let's not sidestep the concerns. While plasma jet engines may be quieter than their propeller and fan counterparts, their scorching temperatures raise safety and environmental questions. Integrating them into EV toll aircraft poses challenges due to low airflow rates and demanding power requirements. Skeptics question the data gaps and high speed, high power testing. However, if scalable, this technology could revolutionize aviation propulsion, steering us away from fossil fuels and towards a cleaner future. The journey continues and the possibilities are endless. So, are you as amazed by China's breakthrough in plasma electric motors as we are? What do you think this innovation means for the future of transportation? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting tech updates. Thanks for watching.